hi everybody welcome back to my channel made with love my name is Heather right now I'm sitting here in my craft room I'm just going through my books today is December 24th that means tomorrow is Christmas so I am doing my prep work today to start Christmas dinner so I've got my list of everything that I'm going to be making and I will be every item I make I'll be videotaping so you can see how I make it so I'm going to be taking just a basic turkey I'm going to be doing my uh, uh, brown sugar and honey glazed ham. I do that in the slow cooker. I do my turkey in the oven. I do my own cornbread stuffing, so I'll be making the cornbread from scratch. I make my own dinner buns, I'll be making those from scratch. Um, my cranberry sauce, I make from scratch. My gravy, I kind of use those little powdered mixes. But I also use the drippings from the ham or the turkey, depending on which ones I got more drippings from. I love to do my steamed asparagus. Um, I've got my honey glazed mini carrots that I always do. And I've got my different potatoes that I do. I'll do mashed potatoes or I'll just do some of the little mini potatoes just cut up with oil and herbs. And let's see. So, oh, I also have a few other side dishes that I make depending on what uh, root vegetables I have in my pantry at the moment. Like I will do... Um, the different yams or squashes. I'll either slice them or I mash them. And of course for the drink we I make my own punch. Uh, it's a cranberry ginger ale mix. It's usually about half and half. So I'm just gonna finish making up my list and I'll be in the kitchen with all my supplies and so I'm gonna start making the cornbread stuffing and the dinner buns first. So I'll see you in a few moments. Okay, welcome back. I'm now in my kitchen. So I'm going to be making my uh, dinner rolls and my cornbread stuffing. So I'm going to start with the dinner rolls. It's very easy. It's a three ingredient dinner roll. Just angle this a little bit better. So all you need to make these dinner rolls is you start with two cups of self-rising flour. reach for my measuring cups. You need to start, I said, two cups of the self-rising flour. This is why it doesn't require uh, yeast, because the self-rising flour already has everything you need. Two cups. And I, so when I'm making cakes and cookies and breads, I love to sift my flour and my all my uh, dry ingredients it always just makes everything uh, mixes better and uh, baking comes up so much softer and fluffier and so I got two one cup and I'll measure up the second cup Two cups of self rising flour. I'm just gonna sift it quickly. And then to this, you just add one cup of milk. tablespoons of oops, almost spilled the milk of uh, mayonnaise one two three Stir this all in together. The recipe says it should make 12 dinner rolls. 
You can already see the consistency of it. It's already starting to look like uh, bread. It's really starting to mix in there and it's really starting to look like bread. So I'm just gonna set this aside for one second. I just gotta get my baking pan. I'm just gonna take the muffin pan. Just a quick spritz. Grab my other spoon. Just grabbing my other spoon here. Just fill each tin or each um, slot in the muffin tin with a good little scoop of the dough. And these will bake for, I think it's 12 to 15 minutes at 375. I've already got my oven uh, preheating. Grab my. So I have to grab the little spatula here so I can get the rest of this dough. And make two more buns out of here, I think. One more for sure. Like I said, the recipe says you should get 12. I've got an 11, so I guess I'll have to take a little bit out of all the, I think there's a couple here that are just kind of overfilled, so I'll just take a little bit out of these ones and make 12 dinner rolls. I'm just, I'm just waiting for the oven, because it's preheating, just waiting for it to ding, and as soon as it dings, I'll be putting these in, and I'm going to be starting on making my uh, the cornbread stuffing next. So bake the the bread from scratch. So I just take a little scoop from all these that are just a little bit bigger. I'm just trying to get 12 nice dinner rolls here. Yeah. That all looks about the same size now. So I'm just gonna Pop these into the oven. I think it's already preheated and I'll be right back and I will be starting to make the cornbread stuffing. Okay, so now I'm going to be working on the cornbread stuffing. So it says you need one and a half cups of cornmeal. I don't have cornmeal, I've got corn flour, which says it should work just as good. It's uh, be a little bit finer, which is perfect because I don't really like the how thick the cornbread granules can be. I just have to grab my scissors because the, they didn't open the bag yet. Open the bag. And it says I need one and a half cups. So, sifter in there. Just gonna measure out one and a half cups. And one cup and Half a cup of 
half a cup of all-purpose flour. I'm just going to grab my flour here and measure out half a cup. sift it but while I'm sifting I'm also going to add the other dry ingredients which it says it needs two tablespoons of sugar and four teaspoons of baking powder and half a teaspoon of salt so I'll measure out the two tablespoons of sugar teaspoons of baking powder one two three four and half a teaspoon of salt Probably closer to a full teaspoon of salt. Should be okay. Put this all together. I really find with, and I'm going to keep saying it, but with baking, I really find that when you sift your flour and your dry ingredients together, you're just going to get such a much better tasting, fluffier baking. Okay, I'm just going to set this aside, and I'm just going to grab a, another bowl here, and in this bowl, I'm going to add the... Um, I'm going to add the wet ingredients, so I need one cup of milk. Slightly beaten. And there's one other wet ingredient. It was about one third of a cup of oil. This is the third cup. No, it's a quarter cup. This is the third cup. Third cup of oil. You can use any kind of oil you like, vegetable oil, canola oil. I use the extra virgin olive oil. But, you know, it, all oil will work the same in most recipes. I'm just going to give this all a quick stir. Get this stuff out of the way. I'm going to bring the other bowl back. Now in this recipe, it asks for two teaspoons of freshly grated orange peel, which I don't have any oranges at the moment. You know, four kids, hard to keep fruit in the house. So I went to see what I have, and I don't have any orange peel left at the moment, but I do have my sugared lemon peel, so I'm going to substitute the lemon peel. So I need two teaspoons. Add this into the sprinkle this into the wet ingredient just to kind of 
pick up with the flavor of the lemon peel. And I'm just gonna now I'm just gonna stir this into here. Again with baking, you know, if you're just making like this is just a stuffing, but you know, if there's spices that you don't like, spices that you prefer while I'm doing my Christmas baking, obviously you can substitute because I do use a lot of different spices that some people don't like. Also, some of my combinations of spices sometimes to people sound like they shouldn't work, but I've been baking with spices for a long time and I just kind of come up with different combinations that I like to try. So I'm just gonna Mix this all in. It should start to thicken up and it should start to look like a like more like a thicker pancake. Um, not so much like a bread. So this is still be like a, a bread, but it's got a the consistency is not like a dough, like a heavy dough. It's more like I said, it's like light and fluffy. It's kind of like a pancake mix. You can see I've got lots of like see the air bubbles forming Let's see if I can pull it up. when I do this you can see all those little air bubbles like you get now nope, I've got to pour this into the grease pan as well I just got a pan here now it says to bake this in a nine by nine by two inch baking pan I don't have those specific sizes I'm just using my basic little pan I don't even know what size this is it's smaller than a 9 by 13, so I don't know. It's the one size smaller than the 9 by 13 because it fits right inside the 9 by 13. I don't know what size it is, but I'm just going to put some my cooking spray in here. And now I'm just going to pour this in. <coughs> when you're make, spraying the cooking spray, try not to breathe it in. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, sorry about that. I just had to go get a drink of water and wash my hands. It just the fumes or whatever from this cooking spray. You know, I just breathed it in while I was spraying. Just kind of bothered the back of my throat. Pour this in. Just gonna use this rubber spatula. It's so much easier to get all the food out of the dishes. And then the oven should almost be ready for this because this one I bake at 400 for about 20 25 minutes. But yeah, I'm pouring this out, and it's really just really has the consistency of like waffles or pancake batter so that is the consistency that you're looking for even though it is called a, it is cornbread I also find I think it's partly because I I do um, sift all my dry ingredients together even the sugar I don't like this cooking spray this is not the cooking spray I normally use it was what was on sale when I was at the store. The ones I prefer, I like to use the olive oil or coconut oil ones, but all I could find was this, this is the Superstore No Name Vegetable Oil Cooking Spray. I don't know why, it's just all foaming today. But anyway, so that's almost gone so I'll be glad when that one's gone and then I can you know, I'll know not to buy this kind okay, so I'm just gonna wait just a few more minutes the uh, muff or the dinner roll should be done in a minute and I'll put these in the oven and I'll be back when everything is baked so I'm going to show you quickly two other fast and easy um, dinner rolls one is this Bisquick um, mix here it says you just need to add this 
that says half a cup of water, but I prefer to use the milk. Pour in half a cup of milk. And just stir it in. And this little package here I got from the dollar store. It's a dollar twenty-five plus tax. And you can get six dinner buns pretty easily with this recipe. I gotta grab a wooden spoon. It doesn't make work with the spatula. have to stir it in, mix it all in good. And leave that for a second. And I've got this other one here. This one I also got at the dollar store. I think I paid yeah, $1.25 for this one as well. This one is actually the cornbread muffins. Same thing. You get six little dinner rolls out of this. Now, this one, it takes one egg, a quarter cup of milk, and a quarter cup of oil. And add a quarter cup of milk. And a quarter cup of oil. And one egg. Oops, I have to grab another spoon. Just mix this all in. I think this also said it will make like six dinner rolls. Now there's this one I set aside. I think it needs a little more milk. Does it really only say? Uh, it just says half a cup of water. So I don't know. Just add a little more milk. This one is more sticky. I don't really use this Bisquick stuff too often. Add a little more milk. Maybe I should have gone with the water. When I make cake mixes and stuff, I usually substitute the water for milk. Oops. I guess in this one, water would have been probably better. Both be both these go in at uh, 350 for like 10 15 minutes.
I like to try to get as much of the baking stuff out of the dishes. Those ones, and then we got this one here. the day before Christmas and it's so hot outside I've got my patio door open it never happens here it's been quite a few years since it's been above zero like the day before Christmas just making sure that all these have the same amount of batter so they'll cook evenly good so I'm just gonna go put these in the oven I'm just gonna double check that this is 375 this one says uh, 450 okay well they're in the pan at the same time my oven's already sitting at 400 so I'm just gonna put these in the oven and I'll be back and I think it's got like six minutes and the cornbread should be done so when I got the cornbread done and these will be done and the other muffins are, or the other dinner rolls are done when got all baked and ready to come out to cool I will be right back okay welcome back this is the cornbread it kind of crumbled a little bit when I was pulling out of the pan that's okay because I'm gonna be slicing it up to make my stuffing anyways so set this aside and here is the three ingredient dinner rolls that I made with the self-rising flour, milk, and mayonnaise. And then here is the other, oops, fell off the counter. Here is the other ones I made. These ones here are that cornbread, little dinner rolls, and this is the biscuit dinner rolls. I've now today I've done my part of my stuffing because I got the cornbread made and I've got a total of like 24 little dinner buns ready so I will just have to put this I'm gonna put the cornbread in the freezer for about 15 30 minutes just so it will cool down really fast and I can get to actually making my stuffing so I will do that I will put that in the freezer and I'll be back when it's time to finish making the stuffing. Welcome back. I pulled my stuffing out of the freezer. It's done now. I'm going to show you how I make my stuffing. Sorry, it's, it's the day before Christmas. It's a holiday. Everybody's home. So I'm down here in my little kitchenette for my day home. So I'm just going to angle the camera. You can see what I am going to be doing. Not want to bend forward. Oops. Yeah, sorry about that. One of the legs on my tripod just broke, so I guess I'll have to just kind of do this a different way. So I've got my pot here. I'm going to add about a good half a cup of butter, and I'm going to add in at the same time my celery and onions that I've already got chopped up. I'll show you so got the celery and onions here already chopped up 
mix together. I'm just going to wait for this butter to kind of melt and get these to saute a bit. And then to this, I will be adding my mushrooms and the cornbread that was already baked earlier. And of course the seasoning, which I do my mix of, I'm using thyme, tarragon, coriander, marjoram, sage, uh, my poultry seasoning, of course, and rosemary. Oops. I also have the four bouillon cubes and the boiling water. So I'm just gonna, I guess I'm just gonna wait for this to saute, and I will be right back when this is done and ready for the next step. Okay, now in here I've got one cup and well, one and two thirds cup, I mean, of boiling water. And to that, I've added the four bouillon cubes. These are the chicken flavored. Now you can also use uh, four teaspoons of the powdered uh, bouillon flavoring too. And then to this, I'm gonna be adding my spices. Be using probably about a you know, good shake of every spice in here. I, when it comes to spices, I don't measure, so I will be back as I add the spices. So in here, you can see that the butter has melted and the onions, it was one good size onion and about four, maybe four, four and a half cups of chopped celery. And then I've got my mushrooms, I'm going to be adding the mushroom in now. That was uh, one small pack of mushrooms, maybe about three or four cups worth. I'm just going to let this kind of just sit in here and just mix it up. Then I said to here is the bouillon. They're st er, still kind of there. I need to crush them up a little more, but I'm going to be adding all my spices. Like I said, I generally don't measure. Now if I was upstairs, I would be putting these in my little um, pestle grinder dish, whatever it's called. Pestle and mortar, that's what it's called. I'd be grinding all this stuff up in there, but I'm down here. I didn't grab it. So, I'll be okay because I do like to mix it a little bit more fine, but because I've got it here in the boiling water, should be okay. I'm just waiting for the bouillon cubes to you know, uh, break down and I'm just going to give this here another quick stir. So my um, stuffing is coming along really good and I will also be cooking, when I've got this done, I will be showing you how I make my cranberry sauce. As soon as I get this cooked a little bit more and I get these, you know, kind of uh, melted a little bit better, I will be right back. Okay, so the bouillon cubes have now completely dissolved. So I'm just going to stir this up and I'm just going to pour it into here. Oops. I guess there was one more chunk that I didn't see. Well, as it gets mixed into here, it will dissolve more. And to this now, I will be adding the cornbread that was made earlier this morning. There's the cornbread. So I'm just going to take it in chunks and just crumble it in. And I'll be back when I get that done. Okay, I've now got all the cornbread added. So I'm just going to stir and let this simmer for a few more minutes. all in. There's what the stuffing looks like. It's starting to look like really good stuffing now. So that's how I make my cornbread stuffing from scratch. 
Okay, and then I'm just gonna wait for this for another minute or two, and then I will be back, and I'll show you how I make the cranberry sauce. Back. Thank you. 